Hello, welcome to another unwrapping. This time, it's the 4K release of Revenge of the Sith, episode three, on 4K. We've already done the other two in this series, in this trilogy. Let's just have a look at the last one. See if it's any different. Don't think it will be. New collectible sleeves. You can collect them. So once you've owned them, you, you've got them. So I I got these at three for 36 on Amazon. But I noticed they're also on Zoom, so they're probably on a few other places as well. Quite good value for 4K discs. Because I mean, if you remember, they started off at about 30 quid, didn't they each, these uh, 4K discs. And now they're about 20. But of course with this still, 3 for 36, that's the way to do it. So there's no download. We've got the 4K film, I'm not scratching it. And once again, we've got a Blu-ray version and the extras on Blu-ray. And no pretty artwork or anything at all. Have a quick look at the back there. So that's the first trilogy complete. Let's see, probably on 2K upscaled these, I think. But you know, 4K is still worth having for HDRs and Dolby Visions and and Atmos as well. Are these in Atmos? Are these in Atmos, yes. 7.14 Dolby Atmos. I don't think the Blu-rays are available in Atmos. In fact, that one's not. It's Master Audio 7.1 on the Blu-ray. So yeah, if you've got a nice um, setup, the main reasons for getting these is obviously 4K could be a better picture, but also it's in Atmos. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.